We're going to be covering Watts Pay, just diving into the chart. We're going to be talking about what's going on with the company and how it recent it went from nine cents all the way down to a penny, and now we've been going sideways for the past few weeks now. And um, I just want to get into my thoughts about the company. We're going to be looking into Vara and what the broker dealer service license is. We're we'll covering a few things. Okay, so first off, I just want to check out the chart. This is on the weekly. And as you know, like, I'll try to zoom in here a little bit, but all the bad news started coming all about down here when the RSI was way down. If you go to the daily RSI, it was obvious, like, uh, it was very oversold and just a uh, manipulated crypto, like many, many are. So it was September 1st. This is where the it went, it wicked all the way down to a penny. Then it went back up to 1.9 cents, and here we are. But what's funny, what I find interesting is that the company has been growing and expanding all during this time, this whole past month, ever since the fall from uh, 5 cents down here. Because they, they had promised uh, two Tier 1 exchange listings, and they got Mexi Global, and they said, oh, the other one... We have to get the volume up, the daily traded volume, before we can get the next one. And then they quietly listed LCX Exchange, which is very bullish, but they didn't even announce it. It's like the, it's almost like the partners want, it's like they want to give them a cheap WTK before the company takes off. And this, um, this negative narrative around the company is, I don't know. You got to be in backwards land to be profitable in crypto, guys. And <laughs> it has me bullish, to be honest. And we're going to be tough going into a few things here about the company itself. So I could draw some Bollinger Bands on this, and we could, I'll show you that it's. Uh, well, <laughs> I already have my three indicators. I'm too cheap to pay the the money for the year. But anyway, let's go to uh, some other Watts Pay reviews on Glassdoor. It's 3.6 out of 5. There are a few haters, but, you know, it's just how it is with the small companies. Um, I like the, the new... Let's go to the newest ones. How do you get to the newest comp newest reviews? I was just reading them. Sort by most recent. Oh, okay, here we go. Fast-paced environment. This is uh, by a senior developer. He's been there for more than a year. Um... They work with a leadership team, they're cutting edge digital payments, so they're trying to be a hybrid payment system in the Middle East. And um, it's a nice atmosphere. Um, there's a saying, you don't have any haters, you're not doing anything right. And believe me, Ripple had its haters back in the day. And this is guy's been there in Dubai for a year. He's a sales support exec, he's been there. Somebody, some, somebody was here for three years, four out of five, strategic leadership as manager. Um, they invest in their employees, it's leadership, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, they, they, it's, you know, the, it's like you said, the fintech industry is dynamic and what Watts Pay operates at a fast pace. You're going to have to work long hours. He said some of these people say you have to work long, long hours. And, um, yeah, but I just find that I just care that the company is growing itself. And here, this is one of the few companies alongside OKX and Crypto.com to actually become VARA approved to make it to the second stage of VARA. And as you can see, the, the government of Dubai puts their name right next to it. It started in 2022. It's like their version of the SEC to regulate cryptos as they aim to be a hub for the like a crypto hub of the world. And um, it's just fascinating. I just find this like, such an opportunity. You know, I'm just excited about the company itself and like what they're doing, and it's so cool to be part of something, you know. And then if we get to uh, their license that they have is oh, I accidentally closed out, but it's they they wanted a broker dealer license. So I looked up the regular, like I looked up the regulatory framework of the broker dealer license, and I found it interesting um, because if you go back to the chart. This is where Jason Cerullis, they hired a new guy from Ripple, and he's engaging with the community, and the community brings it up to nine cents, and then there's all kinds of drama. This is a whale group manipulating the price, and all this stuff happened. 
and then it crashed and one of the whales says one of the guys that was pushing with WTK for about a year he just leaves and then he says I'm out and everybody follows what he's doing and you know of course I'm buying here <laughs> but then the price goes back up and he's like oh he saves the day oh we're getting two exchange listings so they get MEXC Global and uh, then they 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 didn't get the other listing, so it goes back down. It's all these games, you know, and he said, we need to get the volume up, the daily traded volume, before we get the second tier one. And then they quietly list LCX Exchange over here and see the past month. Almost the past month and a half, it's been pretty dead. It's been about 1.6 cents all the way down to currently 1.38 cents. And what's happening during this time, guys? The company's growing, and that's that's what has me excited. So you can go down here to the Wattspay website, look at all these open positions, five open positions, and then if you go, to, if you just Google Wattspay jobs, you'll see way more jobs than this uh, around the around the world. And I like Stas Midorsky, man. I was listening to him in the last uh, AMA, and he said he's going to be building on the Watch Chain, and this is the Watch Chain. We're gonna let's watch this video. I'll watch a little bit. Here the whole time, but so watch chain allows uh, it's gonna be a layer two, and it's yeah, it's gonna be the test net for it. It's gonna be interesting to be able to build on uh, watch chain. And I just found this funny because all the FUD coming out right at the lows, and anytime you get FUD coming out at the RSI lows, like down here, FUD, 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 fear, uncertainty, doubt. It's always tends to be bullish. So let's go back to the chart history. What happens when this thing crashes? It goes back up. It takes time. It might take a few months, but it will go back up. So that's what I'm betting on. Look at this. There's probably FUD down here at zero. It hit uh, the zero one three four. This is September 2023. Then it went up to five cents. So it's just all these price games. Yeah find it interesting and um, it's there's a lot of fear on this company now but I I actually I'm excited that it's uh, about the VAR approval of the oh, what I found funny so there is controversy saying Jason Cirillo is the higher when he was hired here and then he drove they drove it to 10 cents talking to the community I find that interesting because uh, there was news that came out that Jason had a shady past, and he got fired for doing some fraud stuff or something. And it's funny because to, in order to become VAR approved to, for the broker-dealer license, not only do they have to dox their supply, which they've, been, they've done, they've already renounced all their contracts, which means like, oh, the supply is not going to change. But they want to know about the... The people that work there and their past and I think when they were digging I'm sure they probably knew about his past but as you can see here um, I forgot exactly where I read it I should have had this ready to read <laughs> but there's this one section you can read it yourself just go to the VARA website and go to the broker do list but they basically say uh maybe we'll see it here but they explain that they want to know about everybody's history here we go the prohibitions deterrence offenses uh they want to know about uh compliance programs section policy powers but they have a whole year to get their act together to clean things up in order to be approved by vara to get their license so they've been making steps in that direction to become to get their VASP license and they had to let this guy go because of his past and that made the thing crash and here we are dragging it out for a few weeks and uh, we got Twitter accounts like this randomly popping up like talking bad about the CEO and uh, saying Watts pays a scam and all this stuff and look at his lifestyle I've heard a rumor that he comes from a hundred and fifty million dollar cell phone family so I just don't know the validity of that, but I've heard the rumor that the CEO comes from a wealthy family, so 
I just believe they're trying to make an impact in the space. And not only that, they have all these guys from MasterCard and Procter and Gamble. And then check out the bubble maps. This is a healthy. This is what a healthy crypto looks like. And, and it's not well manipulated. There's Nexi Global, Bitrue somewhere in there too. But this is an old map, two months old now. But just gives you an idea about the. It's not. Uh, I don't believe it's well manipulated. But <laughs> it's just. I love. The, I love crypto just for this reason. It's always a thrill. It's always exciting, you know, just to be part of these companies. And I uh, just want to share this information with you guys. And I just find it interesting. And uh, yeah, and just go back to here to the oh, this is a bullish MACD forming on the weekly here. As we go here, I go back to the weekly. There we go. They got that bullish MACD getting ready to come up again. It's down here. They got the. It's being tracked. There's the EMA, so it's, that's like a magnet for the RSI. So it looks like probably going to go over two cents pretty soon. And um, find this interesting. I hope you found this interesting. Just talking to WTK. Uh, shout out to the community. Shout out to everybody on X. All right, cheers, everyone.